My movies are about life and my vision on humanity. You know, I'm truly influenced by the decadent movement in the 1890s. Artists with great style that brought perversity and degeneration in life and art. Celebrating the unnatural and unhealthy. I am a true decadent. Thriving on excess, decay and dark humor. I laugh at all those politically correct green, environmental and health freaks. Were the dinosaurs wiped out because they didn't recycle? Waste and pollute, god damn it. Electric cars are for pussies. Biological food, the gym. In ages when there was only biological food and they had to do everything by food, they all died at fucking 30. Fuck a healthy mind and a healthy body. My slogan is an unhealthy mind in an unhealthy body. The body is not a temple, but a playground for diseases. So please, feast on fast food, drink, smoke, quit your exercise. I do absolutely nothing except for sex. Healthy people are boring. Illness should be applauded. You know, some virus attacked my nervous system in my back, so I'm constantly filled with heavy painkillers, which happily transport me out of the boring reality. I can only walk for a hundred meters without pain, but who wants to anyway? I'd rather hang out with a person that smokes a package of cigarettes a day than some stupid asshole that jogs in the park. Who wants to become very old anyway, rotting away ugly and lowly in a nursing home? Ladies and gentlemen, we are not here for a long time, we're here for a good time. Life is a very slow, postponed suicide anyway. I'm a nihilist, a misanthropist and an atheist. But if any bigger force would have created the world, it wouldn't be God but Satan. Look at all the lovely suffering, greed, wars, diseases, terrorists, child porn, natural disasters, etc. etc. The red chap in the clouds is masturbating ferociously on our misery. Like my favorite human emotion, schadefreude, meaning having a malicious joy when others suffer. When a plane crashes, I only feel sorry for the people in business class, because they know truly how to enjoy life. We are all doomed, ladies and gentlemen, but we should laugh all the way. A happy end only exists in fairy tales and Amsterdam massage parlors. But I don't complain. The ship is sinking but I shall drown in champagne. Most important, ladies and gentlemen, decay in style. I'm getting a huge erection for my light-colored, tailored, wrinkled linen suits, my silk ties, and my women's panties pocket squares, and Monte Cristi Panama hats. It's like the decadent colonial look. Burn your stupid, ugly blue jeans, t-shirts, and sneakers. You want to be a mediocre, stylus idiot and quit your job if you work for a boss. It makes you a prostitute, selling your body each day except for the weekends. My God. But not a bad word about sex prostitutes because I love them. Surround yourself by beautiful but very useless objects like ivory canes, pure silk bed covers, fine 1880 English porcelain, a turtle shell box for your soap, a baby seal foreskin suitcase, your own portrait in oil paint, maybe a stuffed marabou, furniture made by child labor, but the most beautiful thing in the world is absolutely the female genitalia. Sweet, moist, pink orchids. In the next life I want to come back as a gynecologist. I rather see a pussy than a Hawaiian sunset. I eat pussy for breakfast, lunch and dinner, happily neglecting my own penis. Women are absolutely perfect. Gentlemen, love them, charm them, spoil them, spank them. Now how to make money, you think, to get your things going? Devote your life to creating art. And in my case, writing, painting, and above all, making movies. And the key is originality. Make sure it stands out. 
mediocre shit is worthless and only write and produce your own things. Ladies and gentlemen, your useless, miserable lives are ending one minute at a time. Think about that. Cheers.